For much of history, people have used the terms monkey and ape interchangeably. In fact, many people today will refer to apes as monkeys and vice versa. There are definite differences between the two though. What's the differences between monkeys and apes? Hey everybody, welcome back to Thera Planet. In some cases, monkeys and apes can live side by side, or look similar, but after a little research, it's obvious that there are a number of significant differences between the two groups. So, how can you tell which animals are monkeys, and which are apes, and what exactly are the differences between monkeys and apes? Let's start with a little evolutionary biology. Before looking at differences, it's important to know that apes and monkeys are both primates. There are more than 300 species of primates on Earth. Including human beings and other apes, monkeys, and prosimians, such as lemurs. Primates are distinguished by having hands, hand-like feet, and forward-facing eyes. Except for humans, most primates are agile tree dwellers. If you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a video. The term monkey is generally accepted to refer to two groups of primates. New world monkeys and old world monkeys. These two groups themselves have many divergences with significant differences between the two groups include opposable thumbs, sitting pads, nose and septum shape, and prehensile tails. Apes, old world monkeys, and new world monkeys all diverged from each other many millions of years ago, and are all part of a subfamily, suborder, of primates known as anthropoids. Anthropoids vary considerably in size, geographical range, and behavior, but they are similar in that they all have flat faces, small ears, and relatively large, complex brains. Fortunately, you can learn to sharpen your observations and look for five hints to help you figure out whether a primate is a monkey or an ape. The five main differences that separate monkeys versus apes are. Number five. Most monkeys have tails, while apes do not. The easiest way to distinguish apes from monkeys is by the presence or absence of a tail. With only a couple of exceptions, all 260 species of monkeys have tails, but no apes have tails. Many New World monkeys have a prehensile tail. This means that the tail is able to grasp or hold objects such as a tree branch. Spider monkeys, for example, have a prehensile tail that allows them to be extraordinary climbers. They are able to live in the canopies of forests and use their tail to assist in climbing, swinging, or hanging as they gather fruit. Most old world monkeys have tails, but they do not have the same grasping ability. Colobus monkeys, for example, live primarily in tree canopies, but they climb without the assistance of a grasping tail. Terrestrial monkey species such as baboons also have tails with no grasping ability. Number 4. Apes are generally larger, while monkeys are smaller. Gorillas, orangutans and chimpanzees are large primates that have broad chests and long arms. Can you think of any monkey that is bigger than these three primates? In general, Apes are much larger than monkeys. Gibbons, the lesser apes, are the exception and are smaller than some large monkey species. The largest of the great apes is the male gorilla which can weigh up to 500 pounds. 
The largest monkey is the mandrill, whose mature male can weigh up to 119 pounds. The smallest great ape is the female bonobo, which on average weighs 99 pounds. The smallest monkey, however, is the pygmy marmoset, which weighs about 4 ounces. Number 3. Difference in Movement Apes have evolved an especially mobile shoulder joint that allows them to swing from branch to branch. This form of movement is called brachiation. The scapula, or shoulder blades, of apes are positioned dorsally, meaning more towards their back rather than on their side. This backwards placement of the shoulder blades allows for less restricted movement in the shoulder joint and enables easier swinging from branches. Although some monkeys can break it like apes, most monkeys run across tree branches and leap from tree to tree rather than swinging. Of the great apes, orangutans spend the most time in the trees rather than on the ground. Their long arms and specialized shoulder joints allow them to efficiently travel in trees. Orangutans also have four long fingers and a uniquely short opposable thumb compared to other apes. This odd hand shape also aids in swinging from branch to branch. Number 2. Apes have higher cognitive abilities than monkeys. This one may not be so easy to tell from simply looking at a primate in the wild. But apes have a larger brain to body size ratio than monkeys, making them more intelligent. In fact, apes are probably the most intelligent animals around. Monkeys are considered to have more primitive brains than apes. All primates are incredibly social creatures, and amongst mammals, are very intelligent. Intelligence in this context refers to the ability to problem-solve, learn, plan, comprehend, and communicate. Behavioral studies done on non-human apes have revealed that they are incredibly intelligent based on their use of tools, social interactions, and ability to learn. Chimpanzees are documented in the wild and in captivity using a wide variety of tools. They frequently use a probe or fishing stick to fish ants out of bark or to retrieve honey. Chimpanzees also often use a stone hammer and anvil to crack nuts. A typical chimpanzee in the wild has a toolkit of about 20 different tools and tool use behaviors. In 1976, a gorilla named Coco had a vocabulary of over 1,000 ASL signs and could understand 2,000 spoken English words. She was determined to have an IQ level between 70 and 95 on a human scale. A normal human IQ on that same scale is 100. Another example of ape intelligence is memory abilities. In a 2007 study in Kyoto, Japan, chimpanzees competed with humans on a memory test. Jumbled numbers appeared on a touch screen in front of the chimpanzee and in when competition with humans. The chimpanzees consistently completed the memory challenge faster. Number 1. Communication skills Although monkeys communicate with each other, apes possess more advanced cognitive and language skills. They can't speak like humans, but they can use sign language and other bodily movements to communicate with humans effectively. Gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, and orangutans don't have the required physiological adaptations to produce speech, but display extensive language capability. They develop complex social groups and even exhibit some aspects of culture. Scientists have taught these species to use sign language, body movements, and even technology to communicate with humans effectively. 
Like humans, apes can think and solve problems in their environments. Habitats Unlike monkeys, there are no apes found in the Americas. For example, gorillas live in Africa, and orangutans live in Asia. The only exception is humans who currently live around the world. Although humans inhabit the Americas now by means of man-made technology, humans evolved out of Africa and inhabited Africa, Europe, and Asia similar to other apes. Monkeys are categorized into two groups known as New World Monkeys and Old World Monkeys. Old World Monkeys are found in Africa, Europe, and Asia, and New World Monkeys are found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. Apes, like Old World Monkeys, are also found in Africa, Europe, and Asia, however many European ape and monkey species have become extinct. White-faced Capuchin monkeys are an example of New World monkeys that live in Central and South America. Tamarins, including the Golden Lion Tamarin, are also New World monkeys that live in South America. An example of an Old World monkey is the Mandrill, which lives in Africa. So, now you know all about the differences between monkeys and apes. Please leave a comment below, which one is your favorite? They are super cute, yet super naughty too. But remember they're very clever, so watch out. As always if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, share with your friends and check out another videos on Theraplanet. Thanks for watching and see you next time.